Hey guys, this is Helmet from Tex Incorporated, now sponsored by EO Reality. I'm going to be doing a commentary over my uh, POV demo from DE Season from my uh, latest SIBO match. Uh, we had a relatively good CT side after uh, starting off a little bit shaky. Um, I played lower B throughout the entire, um, entire match, so I'm just going to be showing you guys uh, what was going on through my mind here. And um, hopefully give you guys some pointers to kill on them. So uh, the other team gets a real early 3 to nothing lead. Um, but this is our first buy round, so we're still feeling pretty confident. I actually call for a stack at A this round because the other team just... In um, previous demos I've watched them, they've never really had a strong B take. Um, so I'm, I called for a stack at A for one of our guys to play a passive mid um, for an entry pick and then call for crossing to a cat. And then um, three guys to be playing in A site. And if you notice, since I'm a, I'm playing here at B, I'm playing really passive, just push back, um, really just you know, don't. I don't want to die. Basically, um, if if they come B, I want to get an entry pick, and I want to fall back so uh, my teammates can rotate and we can retake the site together in a four B, four B five, or you know something to our advantage, as opposed to me dying and then just getting really comfortable in sight. But uh, they, they go A again, and we have really good uh, crossfire set up there, and we get all all of our picks and all of our entry frags, and uh, it's a 5v1 right now with a uh, bomb down in sight and the last guy's in subway. Um, our guys get too aggressive playing up there, and uh, they make some pretty stupid mistakes by pushing. Um, when it's a 5v1, you just want to like wait out the clock and you know make him come to you. You don't want to aggress him and get get picked stupidly like that, which, you know, thankfully we had five guys alive, but, in, you know, in a 2v1, if you do that, you know, it, it instantly becomes a 1v1, and then it's, uh, anything can happen. So, anyway, we, uh, we win the round, it's now 3-1, to one. so, um, I actually, my teammate there in B has an op, so I send him to jail, um, and I hear them coming B early, so I throw a little counter flash there after getting blinded. Um, to kind of slow them back, and then I throw a nade, which I know hits him because I heard it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fall back to uh, double boxes here, while my uh, while my teammates watch an upper with an op. So I'm I'm listening for them to just push into sight, and um, they're uh, they're actually not pushing into sight, which kind of strikes me chord, strikes a chord with me. So I I call into a I call into my vent that they're uh, they're probably falling back. You know, stay A, don't rotate. Um, but again, they're just not not trying to take this side. They're not not uh, not playing for a B take. So I I call for our guys to stay back. Our mid guy rotates through vents to uh, clear it out, and sure enough, he he pushes he uh, flanks them at B and gets that kill right there. Calls that A is or, uh, B is clear. So we, right away we know okay they're rotating back through spawn to A. Um, but thankfully, you know I made the early call and we had a guy there at A. To kill the bomb before it could be planted. So we know the last guy is somewhere lingering around here, um, and I get the last frag and we win the round to make it three to two. So once again, I have my teammate watching upper A from jail. I um I hear him coming up right away, so I'm uh I was throwing a little little nade there, and um, then I, after I throw that nade, I peek, get that entry frag. Um, just really using this this box as a shield, basically. Um, and I'm, I'm lucky enough to get three uh, three frags before they can do anything, and we have a bomb down in sight with uh, with the last guy, you know, straggling back there so we get guys to rotate. And uh, we end up winning a round as a result. So uh, that, that was a really good round for us. So here we are. It's uh, it's now three to three. Uh, we know the other team's gonna um, be buying. Um, so I'm we're just sitting here waiting to see what they're gonna do. Um, still have all of my nades and flashes. So uh, we're just we're sitting holding our sights. I um, I just saw a guy rotate through uh, vents to B, so I call that out and um, we are now suspect for a. B take, and there they are. Our guy gets the kill upper, and we know they're going to be coming lower. So 
So there they are in B. Uh, they delayed it a little bit, but uh, fortunately it didn't matter. Um, I got two really easy frags right there. Um, and then the guy who was trying to flank me mid to a jail just... It was uh, pretty poorly timed on their part. Um, they were planning bomb before they really cleared out jail, which is where I was. And um, I got the entry frag, which allowed me to get that second second pick, which was the bomber. So we, uh, we won that round pretty easily to make it four to three. Uh, put my teammate again here. Uh, he has an M4, so I'm going to put him in jail. So try and get an entry pick on any uh, upper. And... Um, I walk in, I don't hear anything, and uh, I actually I hear uh, a subway rush uh, from my teammates. So um, we're uh, we're already rotating on a B, both of us. We're pretty confident they've all they're all in A, and they're not trying to run a fake. I'm going to uh, push through mid here and try and take cat, so uh, all three of my teammates aren't pushing through um, CT side of A. Um, this way, you know, we get some new angles. Um, they have to, they you know, all the terrorists can't look look towards a CT spawn area um, for all of us. So I get the kill there because he was watching for my teammates, as I was just saying. I know the last guy's subway, so I, I throw a smoke here, and I do a little fake defusal knowing it's going to draw him out. And sure enough, uh, he's you know looking at the bomb, thinking I'm defusing in the smoke, and he comes up to uh, try and shoot me, and I just fall back and get the kill, and then the defusal is uh, win the round. So. Uh, we're feeling feeling pretty confident um, as of now. I believe it is five to three now. So um, my uh, my teammate there, he, for some reason he he was hurting on money um, and he didn't he didn't let us know. So I I dropped him an M4 after the round started and I had to go back. So uh, I'm not going to be playing pushed up after uh, delaying myself like that. So I'm I'm playing jail here. And um, there's some action mid, so I'm playing uh, mid and letting my uh, B guy kind of take take B by himself here. There's um, some calls at A, so I'm rotating. And uh, right there, we just saw a bomb on Cat, so I know this guy's going to be right here. So um, get the frag, call bomb down. And uh, our guys get the remaining kills to... Uh, Kind of take up that round. So as we go to the tenth round here, uh, we're up six to three, and um, I believe they uh, they do a B rush right here. So I hear him coming up. So I throw that nade, and I just sit right here. I know that nade hit him. So I get my entry frag, and I just um, you know I. I don't peek out too far, and I'm fortunate enough to get a spray down. I use that corner as a shield so I don't expose myself. And we know the last guy is. Um, we knew the last guy was upper because we heard him gravel. So just uh, we kind of pinched him. I had, I had my teammate watching CT upper, so he he couldn't get into sight, and I just was gonna flank him right there, and I got the kill for the uh, for the ace. So it uh, it worked pretty well, and. Um, that was uh, that was their eco rounds. They were on all pistols, but if uh, actually if you noticed, uh, there's a team kill in there, so we know that they're not going to be able to full buy because one guy's um, lost a lot of money in the team kill. I actually so. rotate back to B. Uh, whatever they're doing, it's uh, it's a delay. Um, I think they were looking for us to aggress for us to aggress them, um, which didn't happen. So see a guy in in B here. I get the kill, and uh, I know there's another guy in there, so I'm uh, I'm waiting rather than pushing him because he uh, he's gonna be looking for me. Uh, he throws a flash there, and I actually I heard him throw it before he even threw it, so I uh, I just got my nade out there, and I threw it uh, threw it back as a little counter nade, and I'm defusing knowing that there's one other guy left, but I know that that last guy is an A because uh, my teammate called that the uh, the last T was an A, so I went for the defusal. Uh, despite one guy being alive. So we are uh, 12th round. We're up 8-3 to three now. And um, I have my teammates set up in jail again watching upper. And um, I've been playing pretty passive this round. So this round I'm actually uh, I'm going to throw a pre-nade or a pre-flash. 
I'm going to push down um, just to kind of give them a new look. Um, I have a feeling they've just been kind of comfortable with getting a, getting two stairs. Uh, so, you know, I, I show myself, I make myself um, present down there, and then I just fall back um, to delay them a little bit and give them something to think about. But um, our teammates, uh, they're going to lose A here. And uh, something I do right here, I, I just crossed while I was still uh, reloading, and that's something you should never do. But uh, our teammates lose A, so uh, we call for the rotate. And uh, I'm going to try and retake it through J here. See a guy on cat, I, I just totally missed that shot, and uh, now I... I see that they've come in cat and they're coming horseshoe, so I call it, and I have my my teammate rotate through mid to a cat to try and flank them, so we can get a little crosswire insight on them. Um, they're getting the plant before I can really see what's going on, so I'm looking for a guy to go subway, and I he gets to upper, but um, thankfully I get the frag on him right there. I saw a guy go. Uh, the last guy went subway. I just saw him up there, and uh, there's there's a lot of confusion right here as to what's going on. He blinds us, shoots the bomb diffuser. I don't know what my teammate's doing, but I, I threw that flash in hopes that the, my teammate would go up there and try and uh, get him. So um, you know, I throw the smoke and uh, the bomb's going off, but I have to uh, I have to defuse because time's running out. So there's uh, just some real mass confusion there um, as to what was going on. So, but uh, thankfully we um, my teammate went up there and got the dig on the guy, and we won the round regardless. So it's uh, it's nine to three now. Um, and uh, we're at this point, we're feeling really aggressive that you know we're gonna win the rest of the rounds. I actually call for uh, my teammate here at B to play aggressive with me. We both uh, both are gonna play aggressive and push down. And um, if you notice, I didn't get that entry frag, so rather than try and get him, I just fall back and I throw a little safety nade there to uh, get anyone trying to chase me. Um, and it works out pretty well. I get the uh, you know they're they're hurting as they're coming up to me, so I uh, I kill them and get, th I think, three or four kills right there. So uh, we know the last guy went upper. Um, I see him on radar, but unfortunately my teammate didn't, and he throws a really bad nade, which kills us. Thankfully, at this point, it doesn't really cost us the match or the round. Um, I, I think it's a 3v1 or maybe a 4v1 still. So uh, we get the last guy, and... Uh, not all this done, you know. It's, you see me, I tell them I hate them in console or in chat, but I, you know, just kidding. It mistakes happen, and uh, if anything, it was my fault because I made a bad call. I didn't call that he was a uh, CT side of upper, so um, only only myself to blame for the nade. So here we are again, fourteenth uh, round, and uh, I just throw a nade. I'm push all the way through spawn, just feeling super aggressive, um, and sure enough, they all go A, but our teammates hold it hold it down, and I, I believe it's a 5v1, we know the last guy's horseshoe, so I was actually trying to flank him here for a knife kill, but unfortunately, um, our teammate kid clone, I think, kills him, or audio gets the kill, so it's, now it's the last round. Um, I uh I hear I hear him hit window with a flash, so I know they're probably gonna be trying to rush rush B there. So I throw a uh, a little a little flash down to try and blind them. It blinds them, but unfortunately it takes me an entire clip just to kill two guys. So um, you know I, I had a real easy shot for an ace spray down there, but I I missed my entry frag and it you know it took me way too many extra bullets to uh, spray down. So regardless, uh, it was a very good half for us. We ended up winning 12 to three, and we won the match uh, 16 to three. We took our first four sides on um, T side.